Hey, what's up guys? Excited to bring you another video today, a midweek um, video. So last night was the election and man, I was so looking forward to just being done, but it looks like it's gonna drag on a while. But you know what? Now's the perfect time to distract yourself with some snakes and some of your favorite things because you know what? It's what you do for yourself in your life. It's gonna make a difference. Nothing Washington's ever gonna do for you is gonna fix your life. So let's get in and enjoy ourselves. Let's learn something. And uh, I think you'll enjoy this. So we have a really awesome clutch this week, which is one we actually featured in the vlog, which is our first five head clutch. And I don't think we ever figured out what to call a five head clutch officially. Um, but it's from ODYB Clown Pie to a pastel G-stripe <laughs> desert ghost. And it's head cryptic. Um, so we end up with some really cool babies here. Anything that looks like a cryptic is a krypton, which means it's double head cryptic and head clown. All the Kryptons in this clutch are going to be um, het, be five hets, right? And all the non Kryptons will be quad hets. So, and the cool thing is, make sure you stay to the very end because we have some really awesome pictures of all these out of the eggs. So you can get a good look of how they look different in the egg versus out. Let's get into it, guys, and enjoy this. Okay, guys, this is the big five het clutch. So, this is Desert Ghost, Pastel G Stripe, Desert Ghost. Um, het cryptic to a orange dream clown pod and orange dream yellow belly clown pod. So basically, we're hoping to see yellow bellies in this clutch. If you sired it, he was in there last two times. Um, and then we want basically, we're looking for cryptons, which are going to be double het. That's how we're going to see the cryptic, is if it's a krypton, um, if it's a double het um, clown and cryptic. So let's check out and see what we have. We have two heads out this morning. First one is a looks like a pastel orange dream would be my guess. Very cool. Second one. I really want to see a lot of just orange dream. Wow, that looks like a Krypton for sure. Orange dream Krypton probably. You can't see the head, but you can see the pattern. They almost, the Krypton, I guess, looks probably about as close to a puzzle as you can get um, without being a puzzle. That's the best way to describe the pattern on the body. Very puzzle-ish. Pastel. Whoa, that's awesome. That's another Krypton, Orange Dream. Krypton, I think. Ooh. Another Krypton, Orange Dream. It's a great stuff. So this is basically, if it's a Krypton, that's heterozygous for five different codoms. Pied, Clown, um, cryptic, Desert Ghost, and G-Stripe. That one's Pastel, Krypton, Pastel OD Krypton, I think. So the, the as powerful as the uh, multi, wow, that's pretty. Um, OD Krypton, I think, a lot of Krypton so far, if, if, I'm, if I'm IDing these right. So it's, it's kind of disappointing when you're attaching these multi-gene, multi-recessive stuff that's not visual. Oh, pop this right around. Right Pastel, OD. Um, it's kind of anticlimactic because you're not going to get that much variety because they're all quad head. In this case, they're all quad head or head for five different recessives. There's another Krypton Pastel. Um, I'm not sure about if yellow belly hit on this or not, this clutch. But anyhow, you get a lot of power, but you don't get a lot of visual differences when you're um, looking at the babies because they're all just mostly just multi-heads. That's what it's about. Or just, wow, another Krypton. So Krypton hit on a lot of stuff, which means that all those are head for five different recessives. Pretty killer.
All right, there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun and really excited about in a few years um, breeding these and making some crazy, crazy multi gene recessives. Um, it's awesome to get all those uh, codons in there as well. Um, the crazy thing about this clutch is it ended up being all girls except for one. Um, so, you know, hey, you can't make, we have to do this again in order to get some boys next time. Um, but it honestly has a good problem to have. So, have a good week and thanks for joining us.